Hello everyone. Today we are going to build the sounds called typography animation using Next.js, GSAP, and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. I am already in my next tab. Let's first run the local server. Yeah, it's working fine. Now go back to our page.js to sustain all these things. Take out all these things. Also go back to globals.css Let us take out all these default things. Yeah. Now the next thing what we have to do is we have to create a component. So in the root folder create a folder called components inside this component we create a file called typo animation .js. now we will import this component inside the page.js so go inside it we will import typo animation from components Now we need few dependencies to be installed. So open up new terminal and install GSAP split type and Arch Studio Freight slash Linux. Now we install the dependencies. Now we will give the basic statements so go to globals.css and give it a margin of 0 give a padding of 0 box sizing of border box and background color of black and give it a color of white now go inside the typo animation component we will start working in here so inside this div we are going to have three divs so for the first div we will give some text scroll down for the typo animation now we will do styling for this. So for the first view, we get a class name of absolute top of zero width of full height of hundred view width. Give it a flex. Justify center and item center. We got this. Go to second div. So inside the second div, we are going to have another div. So inside the nested div, give it a h2. And inside the h2, we are going to have two span elements. So we'll start with the first div and give it a class name of margin top of 650 pixels for the second div give it a class name of flex flex column width of screen relative padding x of 8 padding y of 10 and z index of 20 for the h2 give it content title so content title is going to be a custom css class we will style it later next give it a text of 8bw view with leading of 
desktop server it's going to be good and give it a gap of it now inside this panel man we shall have some text so give it some text over here we will start styling this one so give it a class name of uppercase and target so target is also going to be our custom user now just copy paste it check over here yeah it's working good now we we'll go to our third div so inside the third div we shall have some dummy paragraph so give it a p tag so inside the p tag so we shall style this div and we'll give it a class name of flex flex of column give it a width of screen relative padding x of 8 padding y of 6 margin bottom of 350 pixels now for this p tag give it the class name of max with top 660 pixels Margin X of auto, margin Y of 6, give it a text of 1.25M, give it a leading normal. So this is it. Yeah, it should be bond mix of auto. Yeah, it's working well. Now we are done with HTML and CSS part. Now we'll move into JavaScript. But before that, we have to import few more things. Import use effect from React. So remember, whenever we are using use effect, we have to mention use point. Then import GSAP from GSAP. We also need scroll trigger. So import scroll trigger from GSAP slash scroll trigger. Then import split type from Split type. So we will also be needing learners. Import learners from Studio Fight learners. Now we have imported all the dependencies. Now we'll move into JavaScript. The first thing what we have to do is we have to register the plugin. So register the scroll trigger first. So gsap dot register plugin app. scroll trigger so after that we find a new setup so inside the new setup let us define few variables let learn as then we will define const text is equal to new split type of target so remember target is nothing but our custom CSS class. Now what text has is so text is now nothing but an array which contains the words of never and below. So after this we should we should define the functions. So inside this we are going to have two important functions. One is 
for smoothing. So another function is going to be called scroll. So we will define these two functions inside another function. Yeah, now we will start working into the functions. So go inside the first function. Give define learners is equal to new learners of third of point two and give it a smooth of true. After this, mention linear dot on scroll. We have to provide a callback saying to update the scroll scroll trigger. After this, create another function. Inside this function, mention. By the way, this function is going to get the parameter of time. So define learners dot rif of time. So rif nothing but request animation time. After this, give it a request animation frame of scroll function. So remember this function is going to be a recursive function. Inside this running smooth, give it an request animation frame of scroll function. Now pass in the function itself. Yeah, the scrolling is so smooth. Now we'll start working on the scroll function. So inside the scroll function, we shall define few things. Define const cars is equal to text dot cars. Then const words is equal to text dot words. After this, we shall define a for loop. Every word and words mention cost of for each for every character we're going to set these and top set top character dot parent element parent mode and give it a perspective of 2000 now inside this for loop now we should define the gsap to give it a gsap dot from to give it a first parameter of character. Now we shall define the from properties. So on will change, it is going to change on opacity and transform. and give it an initial opacity of 0 so the initial y position is going to be a pause 
Fallback vom Camp. So mention negative 40 times math dot absolute of position minus array dot length divided by 2 so this is going to be our initial y position similarly the initial z position is going to be g sub dot equals dot random of which is going to be negative 1500 and negative of 600 similarly it is going to be having an initial rotation x value g sub dot equals dot random of negative 500 and negative 200 so yeah this is it for the from property so for 2 open up new parenthesis so give it an ease of power dot power 1 dot in not so final opacity is going to be 1 final y position is going to be 0 as well as final z position is also be going to be 0 and rotation x is also going to be 0 and give it a stagger of each 0.06 from center when we mentioned it one thing is we have to mention the scroll trigger it is going to trigger on each word Start from top bottom and give it an end of top and top is equal to top plus 15% and give it a scrub of true. Now we shall check. Yeah, it's working fine. yeah so that's it for the video thank you for watching and see you in the next one